Oh, now we're getting some green. This is kind of sweet. Green fire. Well, yes, indeed, that yellow flame that we're so accustomed to seeing is hot carbon atoms being excited and giving off light. So now we're going to try to do the same thing with some copper atoms. So where am I gonna get some copper atoms? Well, I went to the hardware store and found a bottle of root killer copper sulfate. You gotta be careful with it. You don't wanna get it in your eyes. If you get it on your hands, just wash it off. You don't have to worry about that. Take a look at it. It's a beautiful blue crystal. That's copper sulfate. I took some of that copper sulfate and I ground it up in my little mortar and pestle. If you don't have one of those, you can just grind it up with a spoon or a hammer on a piece of metal or something like that, just to get it powdery. I put it in several pans so I don't burn my tabletop here. And I poured in some alcohol, stirred the copper sulfate, and that copper sulfate will mix with the alcohol. Now, alcohol has a carbon base too, so we might see some yellow in the flame from the carbon that's in the uh, alcohol, but we're adding some copper atoms. Stir that up. Carbon and copper, carbon and copper. And yellow, I expect to see some yellow in the flame. I wonder what I wanna see. There it is, so now we have a mixture of carbon atoms from the alcohol and copper atoms from the sulfate. Here we go, just like that. No, it's burning. Ooh, look at that, sweetness. That certainly is a nice green color, isn't it? And that green is the same thing that's happening with the yellow in a carbon-based flame. And here we have some excited copper atoms giving off a nice green flame. I like that. And you know, that's the way scientists, when they investigate an unknown material, they'll burn it in a special oven and see what light frequency or light wave it gives off. And they, you know, each one of the chemical elements on the periodic table has a different frequency or a different color of light. And that's the way we can do a chemical analysis by studying the color or wavelength of light that's given off. That's pretty sweet. I wonder if this would work in my fireplace. Wouldn't it be neat to have a fireplace in your house? If you have a fireplace, maybe we could have a green fire. I don't know, let's try that. So here I am inside the house, the fireplace, applying some copper. I've got a little alcohol and copper solution, squirting it on the firewood. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what would be the best way to apply this. Get some copper salts mixed with an alcohol and see what you can do in the fireplace. Oh, now we're getting some green. I'm just squeezing this out of a bottle. I'll leave it to you to figure out how you're gonna spread it on your firewood, because I don't know what your fireplace is like. So do this safely, for crying out loud. And by the way, you can see some yellow from the carbon and some green from the copper. This is kind of sweet. Green fire. And I gotta get this done before my wife gets home. Ooh, I'll be in trouble. Hey, this is Jake at Faraday Studio. I'm Wizard4, and thank you for joining us. If you'd like to see more activities like this, join us at Midnight Science Club. We're all over social media, Instagram and YouTube. You'll like it. Where else are you going to see green fire?